no decorations, a few decorations, and over here, an extra fancy setup of decorations. What difference do they all make? Let's find out. Based on the tooltips, there seem to be four different kinds of decorations. We have purely cosmetic ones, ones that will improve the restore rate of a stat, ones that will slow down the drain of a stat, and then ones that show a stat icon and then a plus next to them. I believe this means that they are supposed to regenerate a minion's stat of that type as long as the minion is within their radius. So they all have this radius. I'll move it over here so you can see clearly the different range. Some of them are a little bit larger. Um, and then also sometimes when they overlap an item, the entire item gets shaded green as though it's being affected. Whereas other items do not shade. I'm not sure the exact difference here, but we're gonna break it all down as to what these differences mean. Kirk Kibble here has bravely volunteered to give us the baseline of worker minions operating the computer array. Being able to generate intel is one of the most important jobs that your worker minions are going to do. So you want to have items around to make them as efficient as possible but for the sake of our testing we have to have a baseline so go Kirk go all right he has switched to eating in 20 seconds we see that he has lost 20 smarts and a 30 morale I knew that they break off working this job at 20 morale because I've been doing a little bit of testing just to make sure that I can run this test very smoothly for the video with that baseline set by Kirk, we're going to see how well Pearl performs working this computer array. She is in range of both the data processor, slowing her smarts drain, and the dot matrix printer, which is supposed to slow her morale drain. Also, the item that she is operating is entirely shaded green. Let's see how long Pearl lasts. Before we break out the results, if you're enjoying the video, like and subscribe. It's a tiny channel here. It helps us out a ton. Now let's get into what we found out. So something very fishy has happened. She operated the item for the exact same amount of time, 20 seconds, and is leaving with the exact same stat line, losing 20 smarts and 30 morale. So... The data processor and the dot matrix printer do not seem to be contributing at all to the minions operating within their radius. Okay, well how about decorations that are supposed to improve how quickly minions restore certain stats? So we have these lovely space heaters which are supposed to make the barracks a lot more comfortable for our minions. As you can see here, we have a bunch of beds that are impacted by the space heater. Their beds are shaded green and then we have other ones that are not influenced at all. For this test, we are also going to be demonstrating the effect of stacking a ton of different decorations all overlapping their effects onto a single area. Maybe the effect is so subtle that you need to have a lot of of items for it to really make a difference. So we have this, the most comfortable bed in the entire layer surrounded by space heaters and water coolers that are all supposed to improve morale restore. And then over here we have a set of beds that are completely out of the range of any decoration. So we're gonna get a baseline and then we're gonna test that wonderful, wonderful bed. Jimmy Martinez is taking a power nap here. Let's see how long he has to rest to be able to top off his morale. Okay, I guess the minions moving their mouths like that is supposed to be them snoring, but it is incredibly creepy. And there we go. He has switched to organizing schemes. He topped off his morale in 30 seconds, able to gain one morale per second. Surge here has decided to take our super comfy bed. Let's see how much faster he's able to top off his morale. The results are in 30 morale in 30 seconds, the exact same whether or not the decorations are around the bed. Oh, it's really not looking good for the decorations, guys. They seem to be completely broken. But for completeness sake, we have the decorations that are supposed to, I believe, cause minions to regenerate these specific stats. Now, these are decorations that you only unlock, I think, once you get the quantum chemists. So they come in pretty late in the game. We have a setup here where their auras are able to overlap onto this item. We're also testing here if decorations of a different room type can still affect minions that are within their radius. I don't know if that's a very clean way of saying it, but basically these are medical bay decorations and I want to see if they affect a minion standing on a tile that's considered a control room. Paul is starting his shift and we start to record.
Oof, all right, exact same as before. He runs the same shift time of 20 seconds and is leaving with the exact same stat line as all of the other minions. Again, the same whether or not those decorations are in place. But maybe that is just that the decorations can only affect minions that are still standing in the same room type as the decorations are classified as. So we have our nice little waiting room over here. The idea is that minions will come by, sit in the chairs, wait around, and then these items will be able to top off their stats. I explained in another video why minions will not normally rest in these chairs at all. It's because when you have a control room set up like this, every single chair over here is considered a low priority job for your minions. So anyone that happens to have quote unquote free time if they've topped up their stats and all of the other higher priority jobs are filled, they'll come and put their butt into one of these chairs rather than waiting around over here. To be able to get around this issue, we are going to use Zalika's My Plans this Take Priority. Cool yes, life. these chairs are considered jobs that your genius can order your minions to come and take a seat. It's kind of hilarious. It is also incredibly bugged <laughs> because the minions will still receive other jobs elsewhere in the lair that they're gonna want to complete, but then her priority is going to override that. And so they'll come and they'll take a seat again. They'll keep getting up and sitting back down. It's, it's a mess, but this way we can get the minions to stay around these supposedly stat enhancing decorations and see the effect and also be able to keep the minions there for a long time to see if the effect of the items is just so slow that we're not able to see what the real impact they're having is at the other locations. All right, beautiful. We have found Nor Pavlov over here. She is missing a few smarts and a tiny bit of vitality. Let's see if that ever regenerates. We'll try and speed things up to give her plenty of time out here around these items. All right, well, she's been moving around over here for about a minute and seeing no change in her stats and no change across the board of any of the other minions here. Plenty of them are actually completely topped off, but some of them could be improving their vitality based on the placebotron, or here it is, the placebotron. It seems like this should be the name of all the decorations. So what did we learn? Well, there is actually only one kind of decoration. They are all cosmetic. Oh my gosh. This is so incredibly frustrating because the tool tips in the game are usually just absolute garbage. They don't tell you exactly what the items do, but now these tool tips are just straight up lying to you. Every single decoration is broken. Now, I didn't do a comprehensive test. I did not test every single decoration in every single room, but I did test every single different type of decoration and all of the different configurations that I felt would impact the performance of the decorations. I also tried to do some online searches to see if anyone else had been doing this testing. They have, and they found the same thing, that decorations are not working for them. Now, interestingly enough, the discussion that was already had on some of them for on some of those forums, such as Reddit, had people writing in in the comments that they had seen decorations actually do have an effect. They hadn't done a numerical analysis or a strict test such as this, but just from the eye test, they felt that the items were making a difference. It is most likely just a placebo, but um, it could also be that there is some situation that you can create as you build your base that breaks the decorations and they will actually work for you. I wouldn't count on it. They are not working for me. I would not count on these doing anything for you. So if you are trying to build a super efficient base, you will be better off if you just leave them out entirely. They will allow you to be more space efficient if you do not use any of the decorations. If you want your lair to look good, then fit them in wherever you want, but just count on them being cosmetic. Ah, oh, Rebellion, please patch the game or make the tooltips make sense. Like if you enjoyed the video, comment on the performance that you have seen the decorations bring, or if you think that I missed anything in my analysis and testing, and subscribe if you want to see any more videos from me. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.